Hello everyone, welcome to my live stream, my second live stream. I'm uh, home alone, so I thought why not go live again and say hello to all of my friends throughout the world. <laughs> it's for the moment uh, 20 to 5 p.m. So uh, here in Belgium, I still have some time before I have to start my dinner. So that's why I just came here on the live stream to to talk with you guys. And if you have questions, you can always ask, of course. Ha! Ah, there's my friend from North Wales. You're the first, Pete. <laughs> How nice. How are you, Pete? I hope everything's fine. You're not wandering, strolling around somewhere, just sitting home on this lazy Sunday afternoon. Just like I do, by the way. Um, I'm alone. My friend is in France right now. He's participating in a poker tournament, so... You're brand new. What do you mean, Pete? I don't quite understand. I'm brand new. Thanks, Dominique. Brand new, brand new. How come? Because of the haircut? <laughs> I saw, I saw. <clears throat> Coucou, Marine. Ça va? Hello. I'm going... Ah, a figure of speech. Okay, it means I'm fine. Ah, I did know that, Pete. Yes, uh, Marina, we'll continue in English, of course, because uh, I know how to speak French, but otherwise the rest will not uh, understand. I'm fine, I'm fine, thank you. It's a lazy Sunday afternoon, I'm home alone, so I still have some time to prepare my dinner. And... Uh, yeah, I saw yours, the last video you posted about the, the oven dish with the minced meats and the potatoes. Looks very good. I love that, actually. So, uh, and very quickly done as well. <laughs> so, how are you, Marine? Hope everything's fine. <laughs> are you cooking? Something today, tonight, Marine and Pete, of course. Are you cooking something special tonight? Quel recette, uh, Marine? Quel recette est-ce que vous voulez dire? Je ne comprends pas très bien. <laughs> ah, Pete. Bigos Polish Cabbage Stew. That I don't know. I'm very curious if you make a video out of it, of the Polish Cabbage Stew, Pete. Then I'm, uh, I'm very curious how it uh, looks like. Tonight, oh yes, uh, Marine, tonight, well, I must say I'm not going to uh, go live or film uh, because it's something quite simple, uh, les bouchers reines or reines bouchers, I don't know how you say it uh, in French, boucher, je pense, donc uh, I just bought the cookies. And then uh, also I didn't make the, the filling myself. So uh, I just have to warm it up. <laughs> Maybe I'll bake some French fries with it, but um, we'll see. So no big deal actually to, uh, to film it. It's no real cooking. <laughs> Hello, Illy Production. Hello from Romania. Oh, I know, I know some Romanian words, you know, because a uh, long time ago, my parents had a girl from Romania every, um, I think it was in July, a whole month um, 
in summertime, a uh, Romanian girl came over for, I guess, oh, 20 years. So, Cefac, um, Ili production, Bine. <laughs> hmm. I hope I say it right. Oh, Pete, yes, you already made uh, Bine to Cefaci. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what uh, bine bine, I guess is the answer. I don't know. Um, so um, for beste romaneste, yeah, a little bit, a little bit, um, because of the the girl that was coming a long time ago to my parents for a whole month every summer. So uh, she was a Romanian girl. She lived in uh, Margita. So um, actually on the Hungarian border, um, her family, Mar no, no, Margita, no? Margita Bihor, I think it was. Hello, Senatin Dunyasi. Thank you for the good luck. Good luck to you too. Hope everything's fine. Thanks, thanks. That I understand, Lily Production. <laughs> oh, really, Pete? You've been there already. My parents have been there as well. Uh, normally, the girl always came over by plane, but then it was too expensive. And uh, they came by bus, a long bus drive. And I think it was in, because I was pregnant of my daughter, so it was in 1995, I guess. They uh, drove to Romania by bus to uh, <clears throat> get them. Yeah, Ely Production, uh, I know what you mean, but I see that uh, YouTube has held your comment, so be careful what you say. <laughs> hmm. But, uh, Pete, I have never been to... Um, Bucharest or Romania myself. I don't know why. Uh, it's not like, yeah, the most popular country, I guess, that's, yeah, promoted here in Belgium to go to. But it seems to be very beautiful as well. So um, I wish you a very nice weekend too, uh, Senatin Dunyasi. Hope you still enjoy your lazy Sunday. The Palinka, ah, yeah, of course, that I know as well. Uh, I must say I've never tasted Palinka, and uh, since I'm not drinking alcohol anymore, um, I will not taste it. But I can imagine quite strong, I guess. Uh, isn't it more than 80 degrees, the Palinka? I guess so. Pure alcohol, no? <clears throat> Yeah, plum brandy, yeah, <clears throat> but quite strong, that I know, because uh, the little girl, Esbeta, always talked about palinka, palinka, and uh, I know it's quite heavy. <laughs> yes, yes, very strong. Pure alcohol, I think, so. Um, <laughs> to be drunk with ease hmm? and with um, not too much. So, yeah, today um, was quite with caution. Yes, that's what I, I couldn't get the word out of my mouth. With caution, that's true. But, yeah, that's uh, for everything. It's the same. I mean, eat with caution, drink with caution, and all the rest with caution. That's always the best. Not being happy. You can exaggerate with being happy. No? <laughs> Hello, Chocolate Mommy. That's a long time. We have been missing each other's videos, I suppose, but I think that's normal. I mean, when you have, thank you for the like, when, uh, in, when our 
began actually with YouTube. I didn't have a lot of subscribers, so then I always saw the same. And then Chocolate Mommy, you were one of the first. I know, I miss you too. You were one of the first subscribers, which I followed a lot. But since, yeah, the channel is growing and your channel uh, has been growing as well, uh, it's difficult to see the videos, all the videos of all the subscribers. So um, I'll make sure I'll have a look at yours uh, very soon. I promise. <laughs> we'll get in touch again. And that's maybe one positive thing, a lot of positive things, but very positive about the lives because um, you come into contact with, with older uh, subscribers that you've met in the early beginnings. So uh, you, can, you can see them again and then you say, oh yes, my God, where's the time chocolate mommy? We were looking at each other's videos all the time. So I'll do it again, I promise. <laughs> Big hello to Chocolate Mommy from Belgium. I hope you know where Belgium is somewhere, not far from France, next to France, next to the Netherlands, Germany, quite small, a lot smaller than India. So um, I want to uh, visit India once. My daughter has been there last a year or two years ago already, I guess. She's been to India and my son is going to India in June, from half of June or the end of June till half of July. The coming months uh, to Mumbai he's going to shoot for a movie over there, a Bollywood movie in Mumbai. Um, <laughs> beat. Yeah, chocolate, uh, mommy, Mumbai. Yeah, that's true. Great food, great chocolate, great beer, of course, and meat. <laughs> but yeah, a lot of people uh, are great in Belgium, of course. I'm not. Uh, I'm not an exception. <laughs> so. Um, we do our best, you know, to uh, to do well for everyone, to spread uh, some good vibes and to help each other. That's uh, the most important thing, I guess. So yeah, Chocolate Mommy, he's uh, going to shoot in a Bollywood film. What's the name again? He's a dancer, so uh, it's the you first had the dance movie movie ABCD or something like that. And now it's the the next one is called um, Street Dancer 3D or something like that. So um, with a very, very famous Indian actor, actors, maybe. So... Uh, they already did some uh, shootings in the UK because my son is living in the UK, in London. And the Indian um, actors uh, have been in London, I think, February, February and March. They did some shooting over there. And now June and July, the English crew, dance crew has to go to uh, Mumbai, India to shoot over there. So... But I've already heard from someone else that uh, that June and July is a uh, rain season in Mumbai and it's quite heavy in Mumbai as well, a lot of floods. So I hope it's not too bad, the weather then. Thanks, Pete. Yeah, he can dance very well, my son, and he's quite ambitious and motivated. So, um, yeah. I'm very, very proud of him, of course. So um, uh, he had uh, a lot, he has a lot of, well, he has a, a steady job over there, of course, in London, but uh, he tries to to break through in the dance world and the movie world, but that's not very easy. 
So now it's actually his first big project, the Bollywood film. So I'm quite proud and, and he is too. <laughs> Yeah, the monsoon season, I know. But someone told me from someone from India as well, I don't know who it was, said it could be very heavy uh, in Mumbai. So I hope not too bad, but we'll see. He can swim. <laughs> so, um. Hello, AB's Kitchen Recipe and Vlog. So nice to join us. So glad you're here on the chat with us. Yes, that's true, Pete. It's, uh, it's very tough and uh, very competitive. And uh, a lot of people want to, to break through in the dance world. So, um, yeah, we'll see, I think. I'm, I'm quite convinced that once uh, something will fall out of the sky and uh, he'll get lucky he's only yeah well he becomes 21 now so he's still very young and yeah nice to you can talk to each other of course uh, as ab's kitchen and pete are doing so that's nice um, you can we can communicate all together that's um the positive thing about going live, people meeting each other. So, very nice indeed. <laughs> I hope there's still some more people coming on the live chat. It would be nice talking to them as well. But yeah, sometimes it's difficult. I always think, when is the best time to go live? I mean, you have um, people from all over the world, um, people from America, it's still morning over there, people from India a bit further. It's almost, yeah, late in the evening. So it's difficult to, to be to reach everyone at the same time. So um, you're waving us goodbye, Pete, or just saying hello? <laughs> I see a hand. <laughs> ah, okay. So you're still here, that's nice. Oh my, AB's Kitchen, recipes and vlogs. You love all my recipes? That's very good. I like it. I, li I love yours too, you know. Actually, I love everyone's recipes. I mean, uh, it's very interesting to see how people are cooking throughout the world. Uh, so different and so new sometimes, but very interesting to see. Oh, what recipes? Um, that I plan, Pete, my God. Um, I really don't plan recipes on beforehand. It's uh, actually in the morning that I'm thinking, what am I going to cook tonight? So I'm not really planning. Maybe I should because um, then I um, could already prepare um, a lot of stuff. But no, I, I just, when I do some groceries, I bring a lot of different vegetables, a lot of meats as well, fish that I put in the freezer. So then I I see what I have in my fridge and I, I, I look for recipes uh, where I can use the things that I, the ingredients that I have in my fridge or so. Not really planned. <laughs> and as I said tonight, well, it's not worth filming because uh, I just make uh, volovan or bouchers or how do you say that in English so uh, and um, actually I just bought some um, puff pastry cookies which I fill with the volovan which I bought I was a bit lazy so um, maybe I bake some french fries with it but that's not really uh, worth filming or making a video out of it so uh, <laughs> oh, 
follow Vaughn just like me. That's also uh, an, an Wales saying. <laughs> ah, you say follow Vaughn just like we say. Okay. <laughs> I thought it was, it was another kind of saying uh, in Wales. Could be. Also, you also use the French name, yeah. We say in, in Dutch, Koningin Hapje. So, um, yeah. Something. Koningin uh, Hapje. Koningin is, is queen in English. So, uh, Ren Boucher. Um, they say in French, I guess. So, um, Volovan. Yeah. So, um <laughs> Yes, uh, where I live here in uh, in Bruges, we speak Flemish, Dutch, um, and other parts of Belgium, Brussels, and uh, Wallonia. As we say there, they speak uh, French, and then a very very small part, uh, yeah, Vlaams, Vlaams, with an M, Vlaams, and Vlaams. Uh, a small part speaks German even, so we have three official languages, but where I live, we speak Flemish. And actually it's Dutch, but all kinds of dialects. Uh, you only have to drive 15, 20 kilometers further away and you have another dialect. So, um, but it's Flemish, yeah. I guess in Wales, you also have kind of a dialect. I think when you speak Welsh, that we don't understand. True? I've been uh, in Scotland with my son. We made a road trip three or four years ago. And there they speak Gaelic and... Uh, we were on the Isle of Man, and then the couple where we were staying, they spoke Gaelic to each other, and that's really like Chinese. I mean, couldn't understand a word. Hmm. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I should look it up how it sounds Welsh, actually, because. Um, I don't recall actually the Gaelic I still know in Scotland but that was a uh, very strange peculiar but I liked it it was uh, didn't understand the thing actually <laughs> Oh really no So it does it does it sound like like English then, or is it completely different than Welsh? Yeah, an ancient Indo-European language, yeah. Nice, I should look it up. I will um, try to find something I can listen to, how it so sounds. Okay, nice. But you know, here as well, in, in certain regions where they speak Flemish, when they're further away from each other, one Flemish uh, person will not understand the dialect of the other one. So sometimes there can be big differences as well. Oh, really? Do I sound nasal? But I understand what you mean, yeah. <clears throat> oh, really? Oh, Walloon, yeah, but Walloon, yeah, Walloon is, yeah, goes to, fr yeah, French, actually, yeah. People from uh, Wallonie or Wallonia, as we say here. That's Francophone. So, uh, more French speaking, yeah. Interesting. Oh, 
А, ес. Британия. Братун. Окей, that I know. That uh, particular uh, Breton language, I know how it sounds. So now I can make, uh, I can see or think how it should sound, that Welsh. Nice. Uh, if there are other people on the chat, it's not because I'm communicating with Pete that you cannot say anything. <laughs> It's not a want, it's like a one to one talk now, but um, everyone else can uh, talk, of course. <laughs> I'll try to answer your questions as long as they stay decent, of course. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Nice, yeah. Welsh, Irish, Breton, Cornish, Scottish, okay. That's nice to know. So here it looks like it's gonna rain. We still have some frost at overnight. It was minus zero last night and the night before, so not very good for the the blossoms and um, on the news there was that the the big uh, pe the people who are actually how do you say that in English um, are having a lot of trees with with the the pears or the cherries that now are in blossom. They had to heat up their um, fire things to. Um, to take up the heat, actually, uh, so the blossoms uh, would not be would not would not freeze, actually. So um, it's quite cold. It's it was nice and sunny today. Let's say ten degrees Celsius, ten and a half, but still freezing um, during the night here. But yeah, it's still, uh, it's only April, so um, yeah, it's really a plant killer. And uh, because I have um, some trees here, uh, the, yeah, we say trompet boom, I don't know, it's a kind of, yeah, tree that two, I have four actually on the path going to my front door. And um, you could, you can cut them like a, a willow, actually. And uh, I did. We could do it uh, in the beginning of March, but then, yeah, um, it cannot freeze. But of course, when I cut them beginning of March, one week or two weeks later, it started freezing. It started freezing again. So uh, I now covered them actually with. Um, some uh, plastic bags so i will leave them on a bit yes i know i know pete there's a there's always a clash between uh, france and belgium and if i don't uh, i'm not mistaken it's the misunderstanding comes from um People from Wallonia, actually, so from Belgium, the French-speaking uh, part of Belgium, um, introduced uh, the fries. And because they were speaking French, um, people thought they were from France, I guess. And that's why they call them French fries. But actually, they were from French-speaking uh, people from Belgium. Yeah, the fish and chips, I love them. Uh, I remember that when I was, I guess, 18 years old, we went to uh, London for the first, uh, I went to London for the first time uh, in school. 
we went there for one week and that's where fish and chips i uh, was introduced um, with fish and chips for the first time and that was still uh, wrapped up in in newspaper back then i don't know if they still do that uh, because of um, the bad uh, influence of the ink i don't know <laughs> but back then um, yeah that's what i thought uh, well i speak it's already more than 30 years ago so uh, 34 years ago uh, that i was there so that was still a wrapped in newspaper over then uh, over then so um Last weekend, I uh, visited my daughter who is living in the Netherlands in Utrecht, and uh, we went to the local market to eat some fishes, the matches, the the yeah, the very famous Dutch herring, as they say, that you can eat like this. You take it with the tail, at the tail, and then you slide it into your mouth. <coughs> but they also have <coughs> famous kiblings over there. It's called kiblings. And that's actually caught that um, with a, a dough layer around it, which is fried and matches, yeah. So the kibling is actually also the, the, the cut with, with dough fried in, in oil. And that's, I was talking about the, it looks a bit like the, the fish, the fish from the fish and chips uh, that tastes so, um, that reminded me of my uh, my first trip to London when I was 18. Yeah, the matches, typical uh, Hollands, typical for the Netherlands, but we have them here as well, um, the matches, with a lot of uh, onion cuts, finely cut onion, very good. Yeah, juniper, juniper. Uh, what's that again? Um, just a minute, because my friend is texting me. I just have to respond now. Um, matches, matches. Wachholder of Deutsch, Wachholder Bieren. I don't know, Wachholder. Is it kind of beer? I don't know. Hello, my kitchen tasty dishes. I'm good, I'm fine. Thank you. How are you? Ah. Yeah, yeah, but but I came across juniper once, but I forgot really what it was. Yes, my kitchen tasty dishes. I'm fine. How are you? Huh. Ah, so they flavor matches with uh, black or blueberries? Hmm, that I don't know. Nice to hear my kitchen, my kitchen tasty dishes. You're fine, and very thank thank you for joining us. It's uh, so good to see that you're uh, on the chat with us. Ah, that's new to me, Pete. That I I never seen. Uh, it was served with kind of sauce, but um, I didn't know that. So. Um, <laughs> now you're a bit confusing, Pete. Um, but I'll look it up, okay? <laughs> yeah, my kitchen tasty dishes. You're welcome. But I'll uh, try to um, 
look to your videos as well. Um, <laughs> So yeah, it's um, a lot of uh, yeah nice things to try and to eat, and uh, I I always like to try out uh, new things as well. So um, and I'm 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 interested in, in in everyone's food actually, but I think it's it's normal that yeah when you're used to Western food that you stick to the Western food a bit, and and I'm I'm always very open to try uh, other uh, kind of dishes as well, like Indian or Mexican or. But I don't think that I would eat Indian, for example, every day because we're not used to that. Um, so yeah, I'm I'm quite. I stick to the, the Western foods, yeah, but that's normal, I guess. I mean, people from India stick to Indian food as well. So that's how we can learn from each other and see how the food culture is in different countries. So that's quite interesting, of course. <clears throat> So anyway, um, it's a quarter past 5 p.m. right now. I'm getting hungry already, but uh, it's a bit too early. Because uh, we're always up late, and when I eat now, um, I'll be hungry again uh, in five hours. So <laughs> I'll wait a bit. Maybe I'll uh, have... Uh, a slice of cheese or some olives or some little snacks. Hmm. So, who else is on the chat? Don't be afraid to uh, to write. Oh, my favorite cheese. That's a difficult one. I like a lot of kinds of cheese, actually. Uh, what I always have in my fridge is the the normal Gouda slices of cheese. But um, when we talk of other cheese, I kinds of cheese, I yeah, I like cheese where there's uh, a lot of flavor in it, not the milky ones. Actually, you you can have uh, some kind of cheese that yeah tastes like milk, but they can be quite w with herbs in it. Uh, yeah, the the brie, the camembert, the um, what else? The I don't know all the names actually. The yeah, the stronger ones. Also the blue, the blue cheese, um, yeah, major cheese, me too. They are full of flavor. And sometimes they're so major that if you eat a lot of it, that you have little bubbles on your tongue <laughs> because they're so uh, mature actually, or yeah. I like them as well. Tangy, okay. I didn't know the word, yeah. But I like a lot of, of, yeah. I can actually, yeah, there's no cheese I don't, kind of cheese I don't like. I'm uh, quite a cheese eater. So, um, yeah. We used to have, when, when we had people over, we used to do uh, cheese dishes, actually, lots uh, in earlier days. Uh, with some wine and some grapes and, and some nuts. That's very, I like it very much. My friend is not that cheese, not such a cheese lover. So, um, 
but sometimes uh, I can I see that uh, they in the supermarket where I go they have a, a small plate with three or four kinds of cheese and then I I yeah I buy it for myself and um, then I eat uh, I eat a lot of cheese actually without a wine for the moment but that doesn't matter I um, food is uh, is enough for me so um, good food is all that counts so So according to what I see on my screen, Pete, uh, it's just you and me, or maybe I'm mistaken. I only see one person active. So um, yeah, the waxy cheese. Yeah, me too. Um, but also the one you can you can, which is soft. Uh, I also like um, what you have like a. Caprice des Dieux or the yeah the the soft goat cheese um, the creamy cheese I also like uh, very much but yeah a lot of good stuff and in front of the television we all yeah. That's more like the the waxy cheese, the the pieces. Uh, that's a bit hard. The cheese that we like to eat in front of TV with a, a good strong mustard. <clears throat> yeah, the blue Stilton. I know that. <clears throat> that's a very strong one. That's uh, yeah, actually also one of my favorites. I forgot about that one. That one. That's quite a heavy one. I remember that my dad, my, my father, he really loved the, how does it call the, ah, I don't recall the name, the, I forgot, but it really has a very bad smell. <laughs> The uh, <clears throat> what's the name again? Because it's always kept underneath um, a glass bowl. Um, once, yes. Um, no, it's not Limburger. It's uh, my God. I just knew it's the word, and and it's it slipped right out of my mind now. The Harve. I know. Herve. H E R V E. Herve cheese. That's uh, kept underneath a glass bowl because it has a smell that's a bit too too strong for me actually. Um but the paneer, yeah, um I tried it once when I was uh, visiting my son in London. You have a lot of uh Indian restaurants over there, but it was if I don't if I'm not mistaken, in the in the restaurant of the hotel we were staying in, there was also a, there were Indian people, and paneer was also on the menu. So uh, I tried it there, but um, maybe it's it's not really the same uh, as when you are in India trying paneer. Where I'm working in the hotel, we have um, an um, cleaning lady from India who's living uh, in Bruges here a couple of years already but uh, she's making her own paneer and um, I already asked her to to make it for me so um, but I'll have to remind her again because <laughs> she forgot she keeps forgetting so um, I tried it once yeah So, yeah.
Anyway, um, I see I'm already talking for 45 minutes. And uh, I've run out of speech, actually. <laughs> We're talking about cheese all the time. <laughs> I'm thinking about other subjects, but um, I'm not finding any for the moment. Um, oh yeah, yeah. I've 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 seen a lot of. Um, videos passing by of, of some of my Indian YouTube friends um, showing how to make the paneer yourself and um, as I can recall it's not that difficult actually so maybe I should try it once <clears throat> Anyway, Pete, I think I'm um, going to say goodbye to all of you. It was nice talking to you. And uh, yeah, it's time to go for me as well, Pete. Bye-bye, Pete. Uh, we'll talk to each other very soon. And um, maybe next week. I have a, a next live stream so uh, we can talk again. So I wish you all a very good evening or good morning if you're living elsewhere. And um, big hugs from Belgium. And we talk soon. Bye.